Hello, welcome to this introductory presentation about Concrete Canvas, a rapidly deployed erosion control material. This presentation will last approximately 40 minutes and is broken down into five sections. Section 1 is a basic introduction to Concrete Canvas, CC Hydro and their material construction. Section 2 is a company profile about Concrete Canvas Limited, milestones in the company's growth, the sectors and customers we work with and the support services that we offer. Section 3 is a more comprehensive introduction to the Concrete Canvas material range. We'll go into detail about the material's physical properties, technical data, applications, key benefits and installation. Section 4 covers a selection of UK and international case studies, showing examples of concrete canvas projects, highlighting the issues that the material was addressing and the key advantages that the material offered over alternative solutions. The final section is a summary of concrete canvas materials with links to additional resources. So what is concrete canvas? Concrete canvas is a flexible fabric filled with a dry cementitious mix that hardens on hydration to form a thin, durable and waterproof concrete layer. The material is composed of four elements. Firstly, a fibrous hydrophilic top surface. This is tight enough to contain the dry cement powder fill within the CC, reducing dust generation and acts hydrophilically, helping to wick water into the material. The second element is a 3D matrix of synthetic fibres that perform three functions. Firstly, the fibres prevent dislocation of the cement fines. This means that the material can be hung on a vertical plane whilst maintaining a uniform density. Secondly, the fibres prevent crack propagation once the material has set. Thirdly, the fibres in the matrix contribute to the ultimate tensile strength of the material. The third element is the dry cementitious powder mix itself, which has a very high early strength gain. Once wet, the material will harden to 60% strength in 24 hours and has a 28-day compressive strength of 80 MPa. Finally, the material has a waterproof PVC membrane backing on the rear face that provides an effective liquid barrier which is protected by the fibre-reinforced concrete layer above. There is a variant of concrete canvas called CC Hydro that combines the concrete-filled fabric technology with a high impermeability, chemically resistant, reinforced geomembrane liner. Thermally welded joints can be pressure tested for CQA purposes. CC Hydro has excellent resistance to a wide range of chemicals, including hydrocarbons, digestates and acidic leachates. We'll now move on to Section 2, Company Profile. Concrete Canvas started in 2004 with a university project to develop rapidly deployable concrete shelters for use in the humanitarian sector. The concept was to create prefabricated emergency shelters for disaster relief by assembling a cement powder-filled fabric over an inflatable formwork. This could then be inflated and hydrated on site to form a durable concrete structure. The shelters are delivered in an airtight sack and positioned for deployment. The shelters are then inflated. This process usually takes no more than 40 minutes. Once inflated, the shelters are then pegged around the base and hydrated. 24 hours later, you have a hardened shell structure, complete with security door entry and services access. Although a very thin-walled structure, the compressive nature of both the material and the shelter shape allow for earth berming to provide ballistic protection and to dampen thermal fluctuations. Here you can see an internal view of the shelters. The white inflatable liner provides an easy surface to clean and keep sterile. The shelters are designed to be modular, so you can create larger arrays of structures according to the operational requirement. Concrete Canvas Limited was incorporated in September 2005, primarily to commercialize the concrete canvas shelter concept in 2007, the company relocated from its original development site to South Wales. The company continued to design and commission the bespoke production machinery required to produce the concrete canvas material for shelter construction. However, during this process, it became apparent that the concrete canvas material itself had a huge range of commercial applications as a standalone product. 
In 2009, the company began commercial volume production of the CC material, focusing on erosion control applications. Continuing exponential growth, in 2014, the company was named as the second fastest growing manufacturer in the UK by the Sunday Times, which also coincided with the production of the 1 millionth square meter of concrete canvas. The company continues to have a strong focus on research and development, and in 2015 launched its CC Hydro product, a variant of concrete canvas which incorporates a high impermeability, hydrocarbon resistant geomembrane for use in the petrochemical sector. In 2018, Concrete Canvas procured an 86,000 square foot factory site, allowing the company to quadruple manufacturing capacity, incorporate state-of-the-art R&D laboratories, and feature a demonstration and testing park. Innovation is at the core of our company. We're constantly improving and developing our range of products, and we have some very exciting launches in the near future. Much of the exponential growth of the company is down to its rapid expansion into international markets. As of 2020, over 80% of the materials produced are exported. The company now provides its materials in over 80 countries through a network of sales partners and in-country representatives with overseas offices in Belgium, Italy, the UAE, South Africa, Malaysia and Australia. Please take the opportunity to visit our website www.concretecanvas.com where you can find an interactive case study map highlighting example international projects in multiple applications and across different sectors. Concrete canvas is a versatile material that is used across a variety of industries. The speed and ease at which concrete canvas can be installed lends itself to the rail and road sectors, where minimizing the requirement for line or lane closures is critical to mitigating passenger disruption and reducing health and safety risk. The material meets the stringent technical requirements of national rail and road regulatory bodies. Concrete Canvas has excellent hydrocarbon resistance, and nearly a third of the company's operation is within the petrochem sector. Again, the speed and ease of installation reduces permit requirements and allows for safe operation within the tight confines and sensitive infrastructure of refineries and terminals. We work closely with local authorities globally and with regional councils in the UK, where CC is typically used to reinstate existing infrastructure rather than the costly new build of drainage assets. CC importantly does not require specialist installers, allowing local authorities to use their own framework contractors for installation. A significant proportion of our projects are in the utilities sector, where rapid installation of our material allows for the swift return of operation of assets critical to power generation, such as hydroelectric flumes. CC has a very low logistical footprint. This is why it is commonly used in the mining sector, where the material's unique properties address the challenges of remote site locations, restricted access and difficult topography. CC is widely used within the agriculture sector, typically for lining irrigation canals. It addresses issues of water scarcity and allows for construction without the need for high-skilled labor. In the defense sector, CC enables rapid frontline construction and the upgrade of critical security infrastructure. And finally, as a testament to the versatility of concrete canvas, over the years it has developed a following within the creative arts sector for use in sculptural and furniture design applications where the material's unique properties allow for the creation of innovative and unusual objects. Across these multiple sectors, Concrete Canvas works closely with a variety of clients and asset owners. Shown here are a selection of sample UK customers who regularly specify our material. And although still relatively new to the construction market, CC has now been specified and installed by the majority of Tier 1 consultants and contractors globally. As a manufacturer, we're able to provide support at all project stages, right through from pre-design through to completion, with regional and international technical sales support, specification and installation guidance. We'll now look at the concrete canvas material in greater detail. Concrete canvas is classified as a geosynthetic cementitious composite mat, or GCCM. GCCMs are recognized by the ASTM International Standards Organization. A number of standards have been produced specifically covering material sampling, testing and installation which apply to CC. CC Hydro is classified as a form of GCCB. 
a geosynthetic cementitious composite barrier. CC is generally used for erosion control applications, while CC Hydro is designed for use in containment applications. Concrete canvas has been described as concrete on a roll. It is supplied in three roll formats, bulk, batched or wide rolls. Bulk rolls are suitable for large construction projects and are materially efficient in that they can be cut to size on site to reduce wastage and cost. Bulk rolls are also transport efficient and are typically supplied in staggered deliveries to match the rate of installation. This minimizes on-site storage requirement. Batched rolls are man-portable, making them suitable for smaller works with limited plant or site access. These are often stored in reserve at depots and used for minor reactive works. CC wide rolls increase installation rates, reduce the requirement for jointing and recover overlap material that is required for bulk and batch roll installations. Available in two wide or three wide formats, wide rolls are suitable for straight, uniform channels of constant profile. All three formats are supplied palletized and in shrink-wrapped plastic packaging with a minimum shelf life of two years when stored correctly. CC is available in three different thicknesses, CC5, CC8 and CC13. The number indicates their thickness in millimetres. The table shown indicates the lengths of each of the thicknesses in their different formats. It is important to ensure that the correct thickness of concrete canvas is specified for the application. The three thicknesses are generally differentiated by the anticipated load conditions. CC5 is typically used to remediate existing concrete assets and to manage surface rainwater runoff or wind erosion only on untrafficked assets. CC8 is used to control flowing water on soil substrates. And CC13 is used when there is a high risk of impact or in very abrasive conditions. CC13 is often used as an alternative to pre-cast concrete and where flow velocities are expected to exceed 8.6 meters per second. Concrete canvas is a unique geosynthetic as its physical properties change from flexible to rigid on hydration. It is therefore important to understand how the material performs both in deployment and in service as they have very different properties. These properties are summarized in our material data sheet listed against their relevant British standard or ASTM test methods used. Some points to note on our material data sheet, freeze-thaw weathering is one of the primary forms of concrete degradation globally. CC has excellent freeze-thaw resistance, partly due to the high fiber concentration and makeup of the material, retaining 95% initial flexural strength after 250 cycles. This makes it ideal for extreme cold temperature projects. In terms of hydraulic performance, CC offers an abrasion resistance typically five times greater than the equivalent OPC cement. Concrete canvas is chemically resistant, able to withstand exposure to acids, alkalis and hydrocarbons. The material has undergone British standard testing which involves immersing the material at elevated temperatures for extended periods. CC demonstrated negligible losses or in fact in some circumstances actually increased retained flexural strength after exposure as it continued to cure. Concrete canvas has been independently accredited by the British Board of Agrement for Erosion Control and Weed Suppression Applications. The material has a certified durability in excess of 120 years for erosion control applications in a northern European climate. Concrete canvas is also CE marked in accordance with the relevant European technical assessment and manufacturing is ISO 9001 compliant. These accreditations, certifications and test standards support CC specification as an alternative to a number of incumbent erosion control solutions. CC combines the ease and speed of installation of a geosynthetic with the erosion protection of conventional concretes. CC Hydro provides the containment capability of thermally welded plastic membranes with the inherent protection of fiber reinforced concrete. This provides high impermeability without requiring protective hardcover. In the decades since its initial conception, Concrete Canvas has now established itself in five core applications. Its primary use is for the rapid lining of channels to provide erosion protection. CC presents a quicker to install, more cost-effective and environmentally friendlier form of lining, 
compared to poured, sprayed or precast concrete options. Slope protection is another core application where CC is providing a hard armoured facing to slopes to prevent erosion. It is important to note that CC does not provide slope stabilisation, but is often used in conjunction with tensile meshes and soil nails to do so. Instead, CC mitigates water ingress to protect the slope. CC has a number of unique advantages over conventional solutions for bund lining, another of our core applications. CC maintains the critical height of secondary containment berms from weathering erosion whilst providing weed suppression and protection against burrowing animals. CC Hydro can be used to also upgrade the impermeability of a bund. CC can be used to remediate existing concrete assets, to upgrade their operational service life, and to reduce maintenance costs. Importantly, as a thin product, CC maintains the internal volume of a channel, culvert or lagoon, preserving their hydraulic capacity. Our final core application is weed suppression. CC effectively prevents root-growing vegetation and is able to suppress aggressive invasive species such as Japanese knotweed. In addition to our core applications, CC and CC Hydro can be used for other types of project work. Fundamentally, if conventional concrete is being used for non-structural surfacing applications, concrete canvas may provide logistical and financial benefits. Specifically, there are four key benefits to using concrete canvas. First and foremost, it is the speed in which it can be installed. Concrete canvas can be installed at 10 times the speed of conventional concrete. Projects that may take weeks or months can be completed in days, if not hours. The rate of installation is dependent on a number of factors, including the layup method deployed. Concrete canvas can be laid longitudinally along the channel or transversely across the width. There are advantages to each method, depending on the characteristics of the channel. We're going to use this project in Canada as an example of the installation rates that can be achieved using a transverse layup. In 2019, concrete canvas was specified as an erosion protection liner for gold mine spillways in northern Yukon. The area can reach lows of minus 30 degrees in the winter, and major works are restricted to a tight construction window. Speed of installation was paramount. In this instance, the contractors installed a combination of CC8 and CC13 bulk rolls in a transverse deployment to accommodate a varying profile. Starting downstream and overlapping layers of CC in the direction of water flow, the contractors cut the bulk rolls to the required length at each section. CC can be cut with basic hand tools, but for larger projects, a disc cutter is recommended. The material was jointed to create a monolithic structure of the individual layers and to provide the required impermeability. The CC was also fixed to the substrate with ground pins and anchor trenches. We'll cover jointing and fixing methods later in this presentation. After jointing and fixing, the material was hydrated. The contractors achieved installation rates of up to 850 square meters per day and completed the project well within the construction window. In this next example, CC wide rolls are being deployed in a longitudinal layup. Wide rolls increase the speed of installation by reducing the number of joints required on site. The prefabricated rolls use a seaming process where the strength and permeability of the seam exceeds the performance of the CC material itself. The seams have the benefit of reducing the net material usage as well as providing a smoother overall surface. Suitable for uniform, straight channels, installation rates of over 2,000 square meters per day can be achieved using this layup. The second key benefit to concrete canvas is its ease of use. There is minimum training required, allowing organizations to use their own framework contractors. Concrete canvas are happy to provide toolbox talks to contractors on site on the first day of installation. A 200 square meter CC bulk roll provides an equivalent coverage area of two 17 ton ready mix trucks. This greatly reduces vehicle movements on larger projects, further reduces embodied CO2, and minimizes health and safety risk. CC can also be installed in very wet conditions, which greatly reduces program disruption due to inclement weather. CC has a working time of one to two hours, depending on the ambient temperature. 
It is often used as a rainy day solution to enable construction to continue when the conditions would otherwise prevent other forms of concrete works. Less time on site, combined with reduced labour and plant, results in lower project costs. Independent cost comparison reports in the UK show that CC provides a cost saving compared to conventional concrete solutions. The majority of savings are made in the speed of installation. In this example, in South Wales, the contractor was able to line a crest drainage channel in three hours, compared to the three days originally scheduled to install grouted riprap. The fourth key benefit of concrete canvas is its environmental friendliness. This is becoming ever more important, and reducing carbon footprint is now often a key performance criteria for major projects. CC offers a material saving of up to 90%, as our CC8 product is generally replacing reinforced poured concrete to a depth of 150 mm. We've already discussed the transport efficiencies, but it's the last two points which are particularly significant. CC has a very low washout rate and a very low alkaline reserve. This generally means that you can safely discharge the runoff from CC installations into live watercourses without adversely affecting the local pH levels. Regulators recognize concrete canvas as a more eco-sensitive solution to conventional concrete for projects where you're unable to use soft engineering approaches such as vegetation mats. An example of environmental body use of concrete canvas was a leaked replacement project at a salmon hatchery operated by Natural Resources Wales. Installed by NRW operatives, material runoff was safely discharged into the adjacent river. This project is also a good example of the natural aesthetic CC can achieve over time. The fibrous top surface of the material attracts natural organic growth while still preventing root-growing vegetation that would otherwise cause blockages. The CC effectively greens over time, and the finish of the channel is much more sympathetic to the surrounding environment. CC also follows the natural contours of the excavated channel, creating a much more organic finish compared to precast concrete slabs. This project also highlights an example of in-channel baffling. To reduce flow velocity, rock, sleepers or corrugated sheeting can be installed under the CC to dissipate energy. In this instance, natural rock was recovered from the channel excavation and grouted on top of the CC. CC offers significant carbon reductions compared to traditional concrete methods. In 2020, Ricardo Energy and Environment undertook an independent life cycle assessment of the global warming potential, or GWP, for 8mm concrete canvas. They then compared this to the GWP of using 150 mm of ST4 poured concrete to line a hypothetical channel located 200 km from the concrete canvas factory and only 20 km from an ST4 batching plant. The analysis assessed the GWP of each solution from cradle to grave, which includes sourcing raw materials, manufacture, transport, installation, use and end of life. The report found that constructing the channel in CC8 results in a GWP that is 55% lower than the ST4 poured concrete alternative. Sensitivity analysis also showed that CC8 still provides GWP savings even when the thickness of the ST4 is reduced to below 100 mm. Concrete Canvas and Ricardo Energy have developed a tool to calculate project-specific carbon savings Comparing CC versus the poured concrete alternative. Contact your local regional technical sales representative for further information. We're now going to look at the four key principles which should always be followed to ensure a successful concrete canvas installation. The first principle is to avoid voids. This mostly relates to preparing the substrate. There is less preparation required for CC compared to precast concrete sections which require a very high tolerance of excavation. However, it is important to avoid significant voids. Prepare the substrate so that it is well compacted, geotechnically stable and has a smooth and uniform surface, unless surface contouring is specifically required. For soil substrates, remove any vegetation, sharp or protruding rocks and fill any large void spaces. Ensure the CC makes direct contact with the substrate to minimize soil bridging or potential migration under the layer. For concrete substrates, remove any loose or friable material 
and ensure to cut away any protruding exposed rebar, which may damage the PVC membrane backing of concrete canvas. It is important to ensure that CC layers are jointed and that those layers are fixed to the substrate. There are four main methods for jointing concrete canvas and CC hydro. Screwed, screwed and sealed, thermal bonding and thermal welding. The most common joint used for most applications is a screwed joint. Simply overlap material layers in the direction of water flow by 100 mm and screw together at regular intervals with stainless steel screws. It is recommended to use an auto-fed screw gun for larger installations and care should be taken on the frequency and locations of the screws. Once the concrete within CC sets around the threads of the screws, it creates a strong mechanical joint while still providing a natural weak path between the layers that can release hydrostatic pressure or accommodate a rising water table. If hydrostatic pressure isn't a concern, if there isn't sufficient fall in the channel to prevent standing water, or there is a requirement to increase the impermeability of the joint, an adhesive sealant can be used in conjunction with screws. It is important to use only concrete canvas approved sealants that are compatible with the different material faces and hydration process. This joint is not intended to provide containment levels of impermeability and should be used to mitigate ingress only. Thermal bonding of CC may be employed where it is unsuitable to use penetrative fixings. For example, if the CC is providing protection to an underlying membrane. For CC hydro installations or for containment level projects, thermal welding by trained operatives can be used to join layers. This provides fully testable air pressure joints to satisfy stringent CQA requirements. In addition to jointing CC layers, it is important to fix the material to the substrate. The method of fixing is dependent on the type of substrate to which the CC is being applied. When fixing to a soil substrate, ground pegs, for example JPEGs, are typically used and can be provided by concrete canvas. These are typically inserted through overlapped CC layers within an anchor trench. Anchor trenching is essential for most installations not only providing a fixing method to the substrate, but also a neat termination that prevents surface water ingress and wind uplift. For larger projects or those with high load applications or poor ground conditions, intermediate fixings such as soil nails or earth percussion anchors may be used. These should be specified to the individual hydraulic requirements of a project by a qualified geotechnical engineer. When fixing to a concrete substrate, Mortar joints can be used to secure CC to existing infrastructure. Masonry fixings in conjunction with clamping bars are also an option where applicable. And bolts can be used for hard rocky substrates. Pneumatic or manually applied hog rings can be used to attach CC layers to gabion wire baskets or security fencing. As with most fixings, these should be applied prior to hydration. And finally, when fixing CC to a steel substrate, as in the case of culvert repair, tech screws and washers offer a quick installation process. All fixings should have a minimum washer or head size of 15 mm to prevent pull-through. The third and perhaps most important installation principle is to prevent water or wind ingress. To prevent undermining from surface runoff water or to prevent wind uplift on exposed installations, it is critical to address the perimeter edges of any CC installation. Typically, this is done with anchor trenching or sealing edges with concrete fillets or adhesive sealants and clamping bar. The final key principle to follow is to fully hydrate. To achieve optimum performance, it is important to achieve full hydration, taking into account the quantity of material used and ambient temperature conditions. The volume of water that CC can absorb is constrained by the fibre matrix and density of the concrete mix. So in effect, concrete canvas cannot be overhydrated and will actually set underwater. The material also does not require potable water and can be hydrated with seawater. Follow the guidance in our hydration guide available online, but indicatively, the general water to CC ratio is half by weight. A simple touch test several minutes after hydration to check for saturation will provide a guide as to whether the material is sufficiently hydrated. 
When installing in extreme temperature conditions, there are additional hydration requirements to be considered. In low temperature conditions, it is important to employ similar measures as to conventional concrete, including plastic sheeting, warm water, or, in extreme conditions, an approved CC accelerant. Conversely, in warmer climates, additional hydration is required and potentially an increased frequency of fixings. Please contact your regional concrete canvas technical sales representative for specific guidance. We'll now move on to case study examples from around the world. These will feature key applications across different sectors and highlight why concrete canvas was specified over incumbent solutions. We'll start with channel lining. In this next project, CC was used to line crest drainage on steep cuttings on a new road construction scheme. There was a requirement for a 600 linear meter length channel to divert surface runoff from an adjacent field that would otherwise compromise the stability of the cutting and the construction area itself. The field was calculated as having a discharge of approximately 170 to 180 litres per second in worst conditions, the equivalent of an Olympic-sized pool every four hours. Precast concrete was considered but discounted due to lead time, cost and installation rate. Soft engineering such as coir matting would be unable to handle the anticipated high flow conditions. Hydro seeding or vegetation mats would have taken a number of weeks to establish, delaying the road construction. The trapezoidal channel was roughly cut using plant with a V-ditch bucket. As CC conforms to the substrate, there was no need to excavate to the same high level of tolerance required for precast concrete or rigid plastic systems. CC8 was supplied in bulk rolls and laid transversely to accommodate significant curvature in the channel profile and to allow staged installation. Overlapped layers were screw jointed at 200 mm centers using an auto-fed screw gun with magazine. The material was fixed to the substrate using 250 mm galvanized steel pegs within crest anchor trenching. The material was hydrated from a 9,000 litre water truck using a 4 inch lay flat hose. The four man gang were able to install over 2,000 square metres of concrete canvas in less than four days. By lining the channel at the start of the road construction, concrete canvas enabled works to continue below the embankment, which may otherwise have flooded and affected program schedule. This coal authority project in South Wales is typical of the type of work that we do. In this instance, CC was used to line a series of drainage channels and cascades that had previously been lined with an LLDPE membrane with geotextile covering. Over a five-year period, the geotextile protection had degraded, exposing the liner to UV damage and puncture risk. The channels carried ochre deposits through a series of settlement ponds and cascades. It was critical that this contaminated water did not leach into the surrounding area or adjacent river prior to treatment. Poured concrete was considered but discounted due to the remote location, the logistics of importing and batching wet concrete and the likely wet weather conditions during the project. CC offered a long-term, durable and rapidly applied solution to lining the channel, protecting the invert from scar from the sediment conveying the contaminated water through the series of treatment areas and was able to accommodate the difficult topography. One final example channel lining project is Myra Falls on central Vancouver Island in Canada. This project lined over 11,000 square meters of diversion channel at an underground zinc and copper mine. The channel replaced a previous dilapidated sprayed concrete channel that was no longer able to handle the flows and velocity from recent mining expansion. Speed of installation was critical, as the pipe used to divert the channel flows during construction would not be able to handle the increased flow in the autumn period. The CC line channel was designed to handle water velocities of up to 20 meters per second, and percussion anchors were applied to the invert to handle this level of flow. Moving on to slope protection. In 2016, CC was specified to remediate grouted riprap sections of the River Taff in South Wales. The riprap had become heavily cracked and vegetated and showed signs of severe spalling. Remediation was required to prevent undermining of a walkway on top of the embankment and to protect the nearby industrial area. Repointing the riprap was considered 
but would have been time-consuming, costly, and would have required specialist contractors. Instead, Natural Resources Wales, who were responsible for the river, specified and installed CC13 in bulk rolls using their own operatives. The spalled riprap was first removed and the embankment graded and profiled. A light, non-woven geotextile was first applied to the slope to prevent tidal washout of the soil fines. The CC13 was screw-jointed to allow release of hydrostatic pressure within the embankment. The CC layers were terminated into anchor trenches at the midpoint of the slope to allow vegetation growth to establish, whilst the lower edges were fixed to a concrete curb at the foot of the slope, using clamping bars and masonry bolts. The installation was subjected to severe loading and debris impact during the Storm Dennis event in 2020, but survived with minimal damage, whilst maintaining the integrity of the embankment. On a larger scale, the concrete canvas lining works at one of Russia's largest oil pumping complexes demonstrates slope protection on a non-uniform profile. It also highlights CC's ability to accommodate sensitive infrastructure and establish tree lines. Over 6,000 square meters of CC8 was installed in conjunction with engineering anchors to provide erosion protection to the 45 meter high, 120 meter long slope in only eight days. Moving now on to concrete remediation. This project in Scotland is a good example of using concrete canvas to remediate degraded concrete infrastructure and to reduce asset maintenance costs. Scottish Power operate a 1.5 km long concrete flume that in sections had become cracked, severely spalled and vegetated. This was leading to significant water loss over the course of the channel and incurring annual repair costs of tens of thousands of pounds using crack injection resins, in situ poured concrete or entire slab replacement. Instead, Scottish Power specified CC5 to remediate the channel. Construction took place in severe wet weather and in remote location, but contractors were still able to install up to 800 square meters per day. The flexibility of concrete canvas prior to hydration accommodated bends and internal and external pipe protrusions. Since the CC was installed, there has been negligible requirement for maintenance, and Scottish Power have recovered the water volumes that were being lost previously. This image, taken four years after installation, shows no sign of degradation, scouring, or requirement for maintenance. This project in California demonstrates concrete remediation in the road sector, where CC was specified due to its speed and ease of installation. It allowed works to be completed by the framework contractor and also minimized any disruption to the adjacent highways. Importantly, as a thin product, the applied CC would maintain the original flow and hydraulic capabilities of the channel. CC has a Mannings value of 0.01, which is similar to a smooth concrete finish. We'll now look at weed suppression projects, one of our fastest growing core applications. In this instance, CC was used as an alternative to annual devegetation, which was required to grant access to maintenance engineers to a three-meter-high signaling parapet. Typically, network rail would take possession of the line and devegetation crews would require a day to clear the parapet area. Minimizing the devegetation work required on sites such as stair access, obstacle detection level crossings, blind corners and signaling points significantly reduces passenger disruption by limiting possession length. Concrete canvas, as an alternative to chip stone and geotextiles under pipe track, provides a durable, hydrocarbon-resistant, maintenance-free solution that provides leak detection as well as low-profile installation. This example shows CC5 being used to protect the underside of pipework from corrosion while still maintaining the regulatory height between the floor level and pipe network. One of our largest international markets is Japan, here, local authorities use CC5 batched rolls to provide weed suppression and slope protection alongside embankments and electrical junctions alongside major highways. Again, the speed of install reduces risk to installers by minimizing their time roadside, whilst the flexibility of the material allows them to fold and manipulate the material around complicated upstands, stanchions and road barriers. CC typically replaces cheap plastic membranes that have been degraded through UV or animal damage. 
We'll now look at CC use for culvert repair project. This example is typical of the type of repair work where CC is used to reinstate an existing culvert. Most commonly, the material is used to line corrugated steel or masonry structures. These would have previously been coated with epoxy or bituminous spray coatings, which have since scoured away, exposing the steel itself to corrosion. Often, attempts are made to pour in situ concrete into the base of the invert to provide protection, but non-reinforced concrete is prone to cracking and spalling. Other options to consider are costly custom mold GRP sections, sprayed concrete or polymers, which require specialist contractors and equipment, or even the total replacement of the culvert. A quicker and easier solution is to line the culvert with concrete canvas, typically supplied to site in man-portable batched rolls and lining the culvert transversely. The material is fixed to the corrugations with mechanical fixings, whilst the perimeter edges are sealed and bolted to the structure. In instances where it is not desirable to fix directly into the culvert, troughs can be pre-filled with a lean grout mix. This provides a smooth surface to deploy onto and areas to drill fixings into. More recent developments with CC culvert lining are where the material is used on new build assets to upgrade operational design life. In this project, the client required a 120-year design life on the culvert structure, which also had to be installed within a tidal zone. Culvert sections below the horizontal were lined after first filling the troughs with an ST4 concrete mix. This provided a smooth, void-free surface. Above the 3 and 9 o'clock positions, however, the layers were fixed to the culvert plates first with shot-fired nails and washers. The CC was then used as shuttering to pour the concrete mix behind the face. Crest edges were sealed using a termination bar that matched the corrugations of the culvert. Whilst coffer dams were used to prevent tidal flow during installation, these were subsequently released to hydrate the canvas. Despite the durability and 120-year design life of concrete canvas, the material is often used for temporary works, primarily due to the low volume of material to recover at the end of the project, and also the speed at which it can be installed. This was the case on a project at a car manufacturing plant in the UK, where there was a geotechnically stable excavation as part of foundation works. When the excavation faces were exposed to rain and wind, they would soften and spall, posing a health and safety risk to the crew working on the foundations below. Attempts were initially made to address the issues using combinations of plastic sheeting, tensile meshes and even poured concrete to consolidate the excavation faces. However, a more effective and simple solution was to drape CC5 layers in vertical strips down the excavation face anchor trenching at the crest and capturing the lower edge with a concrete pour. The CC prevented water ingress, softening of the excavation face and prevented spalling during construction. Over 1,600 square meters of CC material was installed in less than two days, allowing the time-critical construction of the foundations to continue. And finally, we're now going to look at a couple of examples of bund lining using concrete canvas and CC Hydro. The height of secondary containment berms must be maintained to provide the required volume capacity in the event of a catastrophic tank breach. The berms are often subject to weathering erosion, which may drop this height below the required minimum. Grassed berms must be maintained at significant cost, which also requires permits and increases operator risk. If the vegetation is allowed to die off, it may present a fire hazard. Grassed berm integrity may also be compromised by burrowing animals. Concrete canvas can be used to fully encapsulate berm faces to provide weathering protection, minimize devegetation requirements and protect against animal damage. At this marine terminal facility, CC5 was used to encapsulate over 25,000 square meters of clay core buns. Bulk rolls of CC5 were deployed from spreader beams and cut to length using basic hand tools. Joints were screwed and sealed to provide additional hydrocarbon resistance to the bund faces. CC was able to negotiate T-junctions, pipe manifolds and stair access gantries. All CC edges were secured internally within anchor trenches in the bund floor and externally within concrete poured curbs. 
contractors were able to install up to 800 square meters per day, while safely working in and around the tight confines and sensitive infrastructure of the busy oil terminal. The final project we're going to look at is a 10,000 square meter CC hydro installation in West Wales. Here, the thermally welded material was used not only to provide the same inherent berm protection that CC offers, but also to upgrade the impermeability of the bunded area to meet stringent environmental legislation. Due to the height and inclination of the berms, CC was determined to be a more cost-effective alternative to conventional solutions and would greatly decrease operational disruption, minimizing the time that the tanks were out of service. CC Hydro lined the bund face, terminating into a concrete pour anchor trench on the crest of the berm. The interior edge formed a drainage channel before mating to an incumbent liner beneath the bund floor. This project won an important Institution of Civil Engineers Award for innovation in 2017. That brings us to the end of our case study examples. To summarize, concrete canvas is a flexible, cement-filled fabric that hardens on hydration to form a thin, durable and waterproof concrete layer. It provides rapid, easy-to-install, cost-effective and environmentally sensitive erosion control. CC Hydro combines concrete canvas with a reinforced hydrocarbon-resistant membrane that can be thermally welded and is used for containment applications. If you have any questions about concrete canvas or CC Hydro, please do not hesitate to contact us or visit our website at www concretecanvas.com Thank you for your time. We hope that this presentation was of interest and we look forward to working together with you in the future.